بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف سافٹ ویئر ایز وی نو دیٹ دا کمپیوٹر از ناٹ این انٹیلیجنٹ ڈیوائس بیکاز اٹ ورس آن پری ڈیفائنڈ انسٹرکشنز انسٹالڈ ان اے کمپیوٹر سسٹم بائی دا یوزر اینڈ دیز انسٹرکشنز آر ان اسپیسیفک اسپیسیفک اینڈ سیکوینشیل آرڈر کالڈ کمپیوٹر پروگرام اور سافٹ ویئر mainly computer software is categorized in two types system and application software the system software basically provides the working environment between user and hardware so we can call them back end software whereas the application software are for the sake of users and we can call them front end software System software controls and operates the performance of a computer system to make the best use of hardware. It provides the common functions such as program language translations, copying and disk cleanup etc. The operating system, program language translators, utility, service and device driver programs are the examples. Moreover operating system is categorized into the two modes graphic user interface and command driven interface or also it is called command line interface the job function or task of an operating system depends on the size and the complexity of the computer that it supports this differ from single user microcomputer to complex multi user systems an operating system provides a platform to the user to communicate with the computer the different types of operating system you can see right now on your screen which are categorized into GUI and CLI operating system loads program into the main memory provides continuous process of the program for example in printing support different file organization method it also stores and manages the file or memory it stores receives erase and copies the files programs it keeps the address and records of files it also notify an illegal operation performed and instruction memory space and error messages etc it also maintains the user id and password language processors they are categorized further into the compiler interpreter and assembler a compiler produces object code whereas interpreter does not produce object code the compiler translates whole program in one go whereas interpreter translates and executes line at a time compiler produces list of an error whereas interpreter produces error message each time and error encountered compilation process is slow but resultant code runs very quickly whereas interpreted code runs slowly in spite of these the assembler is only the converter which on 
which converts the assembly language. Utility Software They are the software which includes device driver, antivirus programs and other small apps which are needed to make the compatibility and maintain the computer system. Application Software We can categorize them into the productivity, business, entertainment and education. Further, I have categorized them into the two categories. The one is generalized application software and the second is specialized application software. A specialized application software means which are used by the professionals. For example, programmer uses the programming language to write the codes. Monitoring and control software used by, for example, weather forecast department. The different organization uses databases to maintain the records of stock and employees. Accounting software are used by the professional, for example, the users of banks. Medical software can be applied into the hospitals and clinics to maintain their patient's record and the simulation software. Whereas generalized applications are used by the common users. For example, if I want to write uh, an application, I will use the word processor. If I want to make an analysis, analysis sheet, I will use the spreadsheet software. If I want to communicate on the internet, I will use the different browsing software or the communication software and entertainment software. The productivity software is an application dedicated to produce information such as text document, presentations, worksheets, databases, charts, graphs, digital printings, electronic, musics, and digital videos, etc. Whereas business so software application is set, is a set of computer programs used by business users to perform various business functions. These business applications are used to increase productivity, to measure the productivity, and to perform the business functions accurately. The entertainment, in, the entertainment software supports a hobby or provides a form of amusement. It includes video games, videos using specific, specific software, for example, VLC and Windows Media Player, etc. Education software can be used by teachers and students to support teaching and learning. It is essential in any learning environment to allow teachers and students maximize the power of entertainment. We have a different terms related to the software which are included in your syllabus, which are open source software which is freely available in the form of source code. It allows the user to improve, change, and distribute its codes. The Linux and Java programming are the examples of the free, or the openware software. Then we have shareware. It's a free trial version available for a limited period. It allows user to decide whether to buy a full version or not. The antivirus and games are the examples of shareware software. 
the freeware software is a full version available free of cost for the unlimited period. It has some restrictions such as allowed for personal or ac ac academic users only. The Google Chrome and VLC Media Player are the examples of freeware software. We have another term firmware. which is often fixed and usually small programs that internally controls various electronic devices. Typically devices containing firmware range from end-user products such as remote controls or calculators, scientific instruments and industrial robotics. Also more complex consumer devices such as mobile phones, digital cameras, and synthesizer. Hope you enjoyed the class. Thanks for the day.